Hello again everybody, CJ here one more time tonight and just a brief little video I wanted to show if I don't make a mess doing it this is a problem I have not yet had with one of these cartridges um, clearly you can see that there's a like an air bubble maybe not an air bubble but um, for some reason the there we go a little bit of vibration probably if I'd have written with the pen a little bit more it would have come down but uh, it's nice if I don't have to actually take the cartridge out of the pen in order to figure out that there's a problem like that I was trying to get it to write again and it had dried up pretty quickly which uh, with the cap off this pen does dry up very quickly being a fine point and a dry fine point at that um, so that's something to watch out for you got a little bit of nib creep with this particular ink too uh, not so big a problem but um, something else that I realize is that this pen does require almost a ballpoint like pressure to write with it so yeah I'm gonna take the ink back out of the cartridge put it back in my uh, bottle which does risk a little bit of contamination of the bottle. I don't like doing it, but it's a cheap, I shouldn't say cheap, it's an inexpensive ink. And uh, honestly, I don't I don't care if I mess it up a little bit because this isn't exactly, you know, I'm not doing this as a profession or anything. My image is not dependent on whether or not my ink is pure. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to show that air bubble thing. Um, like I said, that's a problem I've never had before, so I figured I'd, Anywho, until next time, as you were.